G'day guys, this is a bit of a, just a short video, um, impromptu one. It's just, uh, while I was actually doing the live stream today, I was sort of consuming milk and, you know, I sort of thought about it and I took my blood to glucose reading, um, you know, uh, probably about an hour after I'd actually already um, finished consuming um, the actual milk and uh, it's probably a bit over an hour um it was about 5 47 or 48 around there and uh just to just to illustrate that with some people you know we don't react the same way you know some people will react a bit a bit different compared to others when uh, consuming milk um there's a lot of misinformation out there about milk and its effects um, even when it doesn't have the ideal profile that you would get from milk coming directly from the animal um, where they've taken the cream off and sort of uh, uh, reduced the fat content of it um, which is what a standard commercial milk even a raw milk that's actually put in a bottle um, has the same effect they do take the cream away because there's an added, added benefit which they can sell it as cream and make an additional profit so it's just one of those things um now let me just switch over to the other that was my reading in terms of my millimoles um 4.9 after a probably about an hour and 15 20 odd minutes um it, it, that should read 548 not 648 that's just in that's just an error um because i haven't actually didn't i when I was actually setting up the daylight savings thing, I actually um, forgot in winter to change it, and in summer now I actually um, put it at an additional hour. So I pushed it. Yeah, it's one of those things with when you're dealing with daylight savings that you can sometimes forget to. And I just noticed that after I go, oh god, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to point that out, and uh, that was the actual. Um, millimoles in terms of that now I just want to quickly um, bring up this site move it over here yeah it's not refreshing nice Just give me a sec. I'll just grab that. Capture it. It's annoying when these things don't work the way you expect them to work. just doesn't like it yeah it sort of it sort of doesn't actually the fields don't actually show up but I can tell you 4.9 millimoles is 88.2 um, milligrams per deciliter so that's 88.2 milligrams per deciliter so you know i mean i didn't get any massive spike um, of my blood sugars in that regard at all so oops so that that was a that was a non-issue at, at all and uh, the quantity that i actually consumed was about 14 nearly 14 and a half ounces or 410 11 um, meals and i'll just show you a quick video of that so let's just fire up the okay, this video. Is cup. 
as you can see, nothing in there. As you can see, there's I've no zeroed water it in that one. In terms of mills, there's a cup full of water. That's got water. And I'll just wet myself there. And we'll move that over here. And Transferring that's over. About 400 and and quantity. mils. We'll change it. Put in the half ounces. Which is 14, well, nearly 14 and a half from ounce. that. As you can see, it's nearly two cups, standard cups. Um, and and that were, you know, that was basically consumed towards the end of my, the majority of that, because I'd forgotten to drink it towards the end of my, my life feed. So, but still, you know, there was no, this massive sort of two cups of milk nearly and no, no, no massive spike blood sugar or anything like that um, uh, you know people need to realize that when you combine you know something like milk to something which is has a lot of carbohydrates um, then yes you may get a, a much bigger effect in terms of blood sugars and all that but you know milk on its own if you if you're basically eating an ancestral diet um, you're having meat, milk, things like that. You're not going to get any massive, um, uh, you know, effects in blood glucose. So you have a steak and have a, a glass of milk or two glasses of milk. Not going to be much of a response there. You know, I mean, there's no, there's only protein and fat, and very little sugar in that milk. And as you can see, my blood sugars didn't spike. You know, out of control. The 4.9 millimoles. Um, 88.2 um, you know milligrams per deciliter you know it, you know it's way within the safe safe limit. and that's actually after a meal okay that's not fasting or fasted state that is you know after a meal which is fairly low by you know the standards that we that we see amongst the general public so you know we need to point this out to to the vegetards you know they got no idea and they keep on misinforming the population about how bad animal products are it's nonsense ridiculous and i mean that was just my my demonstration but i suspect there's a i've seen countless other demonstrations by carnivores around the place that have demonstrated quite clearly that you know our diet does not you know have a massive effect on blood sugar and it doesn't have any deleterious effects on a whole lot of other biomarkers so that was just a short video just to point that out and just demonstrate that uh, you know for those who are concerned about milk and blood sugars and stuff like that stop being concerned if you're not adding a whole lot of other carbs you know it's a non-issue it's basically a non-issue nothing to worry about um, enjoy your milk um, if you can get it raw even better um, so you know and ignore the the hearsays and all the other nonsense that comes from the other side anyway guys uh, thanks for watching uh, please um, uh, like and su subscribe to my channel um, I hope this was a bit inf informative of uh, you know the effects of milk and you know um, please share um, around and uh, you know use this as a as a means to point out to the vegetarians that you know they're just talking nonsense and shit you know as usual anyway see you guys good night here it's about getting close to eight o'clock um in the evening that's why i've got my blue um uh, blue blocking um uh, specs on i mean they're not the most fashionable type yep i know but you know they do the job um they they protect my melatonin production <laughs> to some extent i mean you still can get it from the skin i should be actually long sleeved and everything else according to jack you know but you know such is life you can't cover everything Anyway, see you guys.